Hi, it's Maya here, and today I'm going to talk to you about the shortest books on my physical TBR. So I have a stack right next to me, which is all the books from my physical TBR that are under 300 pages. There's fantasy novels, some classics, and some comics in the mix as well. So I wanted to do some sort of a reading challenge with the shortest books. At first I was thinking seven books in seven days, but then I decided that I can't read a book a day, especially classics. Uh, it takes me a lot longer to get into the flow of the writing with classics. So I want to do some sort of reading challenge. It might be fun to pick them uh, in order from the shortest to the longest and read them that way, but I haven't really decided what sort of a video I want to make out of it. I've been buying a lot of physical books this year, so reading the shortest books would be an easy way to bring my TBR count down. But yeah, in this video I'm just going to show you the books, so let's get started. First we have a comic and that is The Crumbrin Chronicles Volume 1, The Charmed and the Cursed by Ted Navy, which is a middle grade, I think, modern fantasy comic, the continuation to the Courtney Crumbrin series, which I love. The reason why I haven't read this yet is because I want to reread the Courtney series and for some reason I haven't done that yet. But there's going to be a second one in this, I think, any day now, so I really need to get to it. This is 128 pages, it's a really short comic, it would take me no time at all to read. The next one is some classic horror short stories. So I have In a Glass Darkly by Sheridan Le Fanu, and this has a bunch of uh, short stories and Carmilla in it, and I have read some of these already. So I have about 150 pages left, so I think it was about three stories from this. Let's check. I have read the first two, and I have read Carmilla uh, earlier, so I have two left, Mr. Justice Harbottle and The Room in Le Dragon Volant, which is the longest one in this book. Next we have another classic, and this is Where Angels Fear to Tread by E.M. Forster. This is 161 pages long, and I don't know a lot about this. I think this is Forster's first novel. I really like The Room with a View and Maurice, and I didn't care for Howard's end, but I want to read more from him. Uh, yes, the back says it is his first novel, and it is a witty comedy of manners that is tinged with tragedy. And it is also set in Italy. I say also because A Room with a View was also partly set in Italy. Continuing on with the comics, I have Delicious in Dungeon World Guide by Ryo Kokui. This is the Adventurous Bible, so it is not a story comic as such. It has information about the characters and the world and little comics, and it is 175 pages long. So this isn't really a full story, but it is a book I haven't read, and this series is a high fantasy series with like comic elements, but also a really epic history behind the whole world. And we are breaking the 200 page mark with Hanks Man by Shirley Jackson, which is 218 pages. This is a modern classic that I have started once like years ago and didn't feel up to it right then. I loved Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson and I liked, uh, what's the other one? We have always lived in a castle. I haven't read uh, anything else yet. So this is about this young daughter of this family and she's increasingly unsure of her place in the world and there's a creeping darkness in her life and her identity gradually crumbles. I didn't feel up to this when I last tried it, but it's high time I read it. Then at 224 pages, I have Delicious in Dungeon volume 11 by Ryo Kukui. This is the next volume of in the actual fantasy manga series that the world guide, the adventurous Bible, is based on. So this continues the story of this group of adventurers in this dungeon, finding out its secrets and eating and cooking monsters, which is why it's delicious in dungeon. Then another very anticipated read for me is The Witness for the Dead by Catherine Addison, which is 232 pages. This is set in the world of the Goblin Emperor and follows one side character from that, who is the witness for the dead, so he can speak to the dead. And that is all I know. Next we have a book for younger readers. I have The Hero and the Crown by Robin McKinley, which is a high fantasy fairy tale-ish book for teens. So this is set in the same world as The Blue Sword, which is the only thing I have read so far from McKinley and I didn't care for, but I still want to try this out and I also want to try her adult stuff out. So this tells about the daughter of a king whose mother is referred to as the witch woman by the people in the country, so they don't really care for her. And this has some sort of a link with the legendary blue sword again. 
Next is a book that might be deceptively short in page count because it has quite a small text. So it might take me longer to read. And that is the second half of this bind up Swords Against Death by Fritz Leiber. So the second half of this is 268 pages. So this is the classic fantasy series of Father and the Grey Mouser and their adventures. I read the first book. I wasn't hugely impressed, so the second book decides if I want to continue reading more of their adventures. And the final book under 300 pages that I own is Beloved by Toni Morrison. I have already marked this. I was planning to read it once. Like, I think I marked every 50 pages. So I would read 50 pages a day. But this is 272 pages. And this is a modern classic uh, gothic horror. It says that the main character escaped from slavery but is haunted by its heritage and must deal with this haunted life on every level. I have not read any Toni Morrison before, so I don't know anything about her writing style, but this is the final book in my shortest books. So those are all under 300 pages. I have also ordered one book that hasn't arrived yet, and that is What Moves the Dead by T. King Fisher, which is a horror novella that is 176 pages. So that would also be added to this stack. Let's see if I can hold up this whole stack. So these were the books from my physical TBR that are under 300 pages long. Let me know if you have any ideas what sort of video you would like me to make of me reading these. Maybe I'll just read them in order and that is the challenge. But this is all from me for now. I'll see you in my next video.